Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the Heinkel 177A5 sitting at 5.3 beta rating in the German line. 1.77 is finally hit and I thought let me start out with one of the most anticipated planes in this patch. What a wonderful plane to look at. User made. Uh, this person also will benefit from this plane being researched and such modifications being bought and all that jazz this is the first one that isn't premium though so I'm not exactly how that works I hope that guy gets a good enough reward for his work because this plane looks absolutely gorgeous now let's take a look at what this plane has to offer for the German 3 and what it will do there at 5.3 battle rating the maximum speed in the plane on sea level is 434 kilometers an hour without web and 448 kilometers an hour with web at 4500 meters this is 403 kilometers an hour without web and 411 kilometers an hour with web go up to 6500 meters and this changes to 373 kilometers an hour without web and 377 kilometers an hour with web now this is a good plane is a fast plane with good speed on her and this is especially evident in a dive. The top speed in a dive is 648 kilometers an hour before it redlines and 700 kilometers an hour before it rips apart. Now this gives a membrance to the Schnell bombers. Ooh, almost got that guy. Just two bombs short and he would have had a big surprise. But unfortunately we just miss him. Otherwise we would have we would have had an air kill in this match as well but with this dive speed before it rips around 700 this plane really can stay ahead of enemy fighters for quite a long time and some enemy fighters are a little bit faster than it but bloody hell you can outspeed some fighters actually this is pretty amazing this actually gives a remembrance to the Schnell bombers that the Germans used to have and uh, but this is this one is much bigger <laughs> so uh, yeah but it's definitely nice it gives you a good route of escape when you have dropped off your bombs and you're going back to the airfield once you try to land though this plane is a bitch to land it really is and uh, she really has a nasty behavior when trying to land it it has really good energy retention it doesn't want to slow down and it is a bit of a bumpy ride but once you get used to it and you know how to throttle up and down at the correct moments, you'll, you'll get it. You'll see a good landing at the end of this video. <laughs> Control stiffening in this plane. Well, the roll rate isn't anything to write home about to start with, of course, for a, a medium to heavy bomber. But uh, it starts to be worse at 400, 500 kilometers an hour. It's terrible. You don't uh, pull out of anything uh, at that time. But you don't want to roll this plane in a dive anyway. So don't do that. <laughs> Stall speed in the plane is 170 km an hour, which is quite nice for such a big plane. You have a good firepower on the turrets, you have quite a few of them. You have two times a 20mm MG151 cannon turret with 1100 rounds. They are quite nice, they do a lot of damage. You also have a two times a single 13mm MG131 machine gun turret with 2000 rounds. You have one double 13 millimeter mg 131 machine gun with 2000 rounds and you also have one 7.92 mg 81 machine gun with a thousand rounds these are six turrets that can do you a lot of good the plane does have two weak spots though if you come from above in front the plane uh, only has the uh, port facing 7.92 millimeter of course the ones on the roof can also fire but there's a small window there right in front of the bomber slightly above where you can uh, you can be safe from those things and also the 20 millimeter from the bottom can fire forward up uh, upwards that far so there is a slight window there and if you come from below from behind the bomber but more from below you have a big space where there is only one 13 millimeter machine gun that gives a little bit of coverage so there is weak spot to this shield of guns but uh, overall uh, you know people come from behind like here you can shoot down uh, enemy fighters if you get the lead right we did on the wyvern took us a little bit though and we don't have time enough to get the spitfire here unfortunately but i quite like the firepower on the turrets and the ammo load on them is quite good 
For the rest the plane of course is armed with bombs and you have quite a selection of bomb options. It starts off with 48 times 50 kg, then 12 times 250, and 6 times 500, 4 times 1000, 2 times 1800, and the mother load is 2 times 1800 and 6 times 500 kg. This is a fantastic bomb load. There is one criticism though. The 2 times 1800 kilograms drop at the same time. So the first click is the double 1800s. You lose 3600 kilograms of your 6600 kilograms load. And you are left with your 6 times 500 after that first drop. Now as the plane is very big these two 1800s also drop quite wide apart. So you basically have to aim to uh, if you're going for a column or something. You have to aim for one of the 1800s and the other will miss probably. Or you have to approach a column from the side. But on a base you make sure you're in the middle then both of them will hit the base. But I think it's an overkill. I think one of these bombs could already do a base. Correct me if I'm wrong on that by the way because that is not scientifically proven. <laughs> I couldn't test it. But 1800 kilogram bombs that drop at the same time. I find that a little bit weird and I think that should be changed and have them drop at uh, a click of their own. So you have two of them to drop actually and not a two in one go. Basically you could also wait until this plane if you want to use your maximum load until the airfield is available and you drop these on the airfield. Anyways, acceleration in a straight line is bad to average, not, not fantastic, just like any other bomber. Dive, in a dive the acceleration is average, already better than uh, most bombers. Energy retention in this plane is very very nice. In the horizontal it's good and in the vertical it's actually decent. You can make one or two turns in the vertical to uh, escape an approaching fighter to throw them off and you will be successful with that or you can be if the aim of the fighter is off and then hopefully somebody comes to save you or you can get into your gunner as you run away from this person because it does go very very fast at the top end of the, uh, of the dive. Of course it won't accelerate faster than uh, single seat fighters but uh, there is a lot of shenanigans you can pull in this plane. The climb rate in this plane is even average to decent I would say especially for a bomber. This plane can actually get up to altitude and but I wouldn't recommend it. Not going too far because you want to get in and out in this plane and the dive speed does uh, create a situation where you can escape and go for a second load while there is still fighters in your team alive. Turn time in the plane is average. The flaps do rip off at 460 km an hour. Roll rate is average. Maneuverability overall is average to decent for a bomber, right? This is not uh, in the fighter department. There is overheating in this plane, very prominent. It's easy to cool off though, but if you use any kind of web, you're in the red on both engines in no time. Durability on the plane is good, you can soak up a lot of damage. All in all, I quite like this plane. It's a fast bomber, which gives you options. If you are in a dive and a plane is behind you, you can keep running and you have a chance to shoot them down. If you are on the deck though, of course, they will eventually get to you, but the plane in a dive is magnificent. And if you are up on 5k and you're going back to base, you can escape. And that is magnificent. You almost guaranteed second chance for a second run in this plane. Lovely. And I love the aesthetics of this plane. It's really, really nice. We get a first place in this match with eight ground targets destroyed. Let's see what kind of rewards that performance will get us. We have several special rewards, first strike, we have final blow, mission maker and anti -mech. We have 41,000 silver lions and 4,200 research points. I'll see you in the conclusion. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now this plane, look at it, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I love this plane. It's fantastic as a bomber because of the dive speed. The bomb load is also fantastic, 6600 uh, kilograms is amazing. But the downside of that is that these two big ass bombs on the wings drop at the same click. And that really is a downside because they represent more than half of your top bomb load, your mother load. And that is really a shame. 
But it is what it is. Hopefully they will fix that. That will make this plane even better. The top speed is one of its main characteristics. The, the, the turrets are nice. The 20 millimeters are nice. But there is a few holes in the coverage of the plane. And um, the main defense lies in its speed as you can run away from some fighters in a dive. And uh, get back to the airfield and go for a second run. And that is not given to many of the of the bombers. This plane also has decent climb rate for a, for a bomber and may actually be able to uh, get to an altitude that most fighters will leave this plane be uh, in the beginning of the fight. And the speed then guarantees that you can get back to base. So all in all, I quite like this plane. It's, it's Like I said, it's gorgeous and it's good. So overall, this is a great beginning to patch 1.77. I quite like this plane and I will definitely recommend you to get it and to enjoy bombing with it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.